I think it's important to just be quiet for a moment and let the mountain bring the experience to you. My name is Amanda Mills, and I'm a natural resource management specialist with the Mid-Peninsula Open Space District. Take a look up in the sky. There's bound to be some hawks, vultures, or ravens soaring overhead. And you may hear several different species of birds calling. I am Meredith Manning. I'm a senior planner here at MidPen. We discovered a species of bird that was not known to nest in this area, the purple martin. Look down at your phone to see one. And the males turn a very dark, glossy purple, very iridescent sort of sheen on their back. And when they fly low and the sun hits them, it's a very spectacular sight to see. Every time I've been up on the mountain, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to see a hummingbird of some sort. You'll encounter the resident Anna's hummingbird all year round. There's a picture of one on your phone. You'll often find them feeding at the vibrant red Venus thistle, California fuchsia, or red bush beard tongue flowers. This is also a good spot to see butterflies looking for mates. It's called hilltopping. What hilltopping looks like is an aerial dance of two or more butterflies. It might be quite a few. It might, might be seven or eight, but they sort of swirl like a tornado, and they tend to swirl in an upwards direction. So you tend to get drawn in. And it's very relaxing. It's an instant blood pressure reducer. Don't forget to look down as well. You might see a lizard skitter by. There's a picture of one on your device. The beautifully patterned California tiger whiptail can measure more than a foot long. It's fast though, so don't make any sudden moves or it'll be gone in a flash. Up here in the summit, you've entered a unique microclimate and habitat. Whatever season you're visiting, there are bound to be extremes. Remember, you're almost 3,500 feet closer to the sun, so the heat of the summer is all the more brutal. Winter often means snow. Chuck Skinner lived here as the last commander of the Almaden Air Force Station. It was funny because the folks from San Jose who had never seen snow came up the mountain to try to get snowballs and pick up snow. Some of them were actually filling their cars with snow and took it back down the hill. Winds up here have been clocked at 140 miles an hour. That means that when it rains, it could come at you sideways and even up from below. The plants that you see are probably a lot older than you would think because of those harsh climatic conditions. Meredith Manning. They tend to be smaller. They tend to grow very slowly. They're searching for nutrients in a very nutrient-poor environment. The summit is covered in what's called serpentine soil. Amanda Mills. Serpentine soils are generally low in nutrients and high in heavy metals, which make them a very hard place for any plants to survive, really. So the plants that are in these locations have evolved over thousands of years to be able to withstand these conditions. And it creates a very special pocket of these plant communities that you don't really see anywhere else in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I've never seen this many rare plants in one area, so it just kind of shows you how special this place is. 